okay, be yourself. Don't be scared of doing your own thing because that's what makes you you. The first thing is be prepared to work incredibly hard. You know, I think a lot of people, and I've encountered it, they hear fashion design and they think you're just sewing clothes and oh my goodness, that must be so easy and like so much fun all the time. And like, I love the degree, but I can definitely say it has not been fun 100% of the time. I think as a freshman coming in, you need to make sure that this is what you want to do um, because there's days that you're not going to want to do it, but you're going to have to push through and still get things done. Um, you have to, you just have to be all in, like completely in. And once you are all in, don't let anybody tell you that there's no space for you in the industry. Um, there's space for you, even if you have to work to like create the space yourself. I would say, don't look at what else is doing. Just stay in your lane and be completely you and run with that. And people who like your stuff are gonna be drawn to that. Um, and they're just gonna fall in love with your work and what you do if you're true to yourself. I would definitely say study abroad. I have a few others, but that is the most important. It was such a great experience for me learning how I studied abroad in Italy. So I learned how their techniques are different from the US techniques and just a totally different learning style helped me be more independent. And I would 10 out of 10 recommend. But I'd also recommend planning out your schedule for your four years so that you, if you're gonna study abroad, so that you don't have any hiccups in scheduling your credits because that can definitely be tricky, especially at FSU. Third, bite off only what you can chew. A lot of fashion majors I've seen are very ambitious and sometimes that can come back and bite you. So listen to yourself and only take on what you know that you can handle. And a seam ripper is your best friend. To take it seriously, uh, don't make clothes that you aren't proud of just to reach the deadline. Push yourself now while you're in school and still learning so that by the time you graduate, you feel like you have learned what you possibly can and you aren't overwhelmed when you step into the real world. But I would say also have fun with it because it is creative and artistic. So don't put too much pressure on yourself to make something that you think that will get a good grade, push yourself to make designs that you're proud of and that you want to put your name on. So if you're a freshman right now, my advice to you would be try your best not to procrastinate. Practice right now on time management because it'll be really helpful when you're a junior or senior when you have a lot more projects that you have to do outside of class time. Making sure you know how much time you're going to spend on something and planning out blocks of time for you to work on it because trying to make a project for your portfolio the night before it's due is not going to work. <laughs> Advice would be to not procrastinate any of your projects. Designing garments takes a lot of time and patience. Put time and effort into your projects so that you can be less stressed and your garments will be high quality. Um, for all those freshmen that know they're seeing all my my work and my ugh, it's, it's, it's a long a long process, but don't don't get frustrated at the beginning. It's like the beginning. I don't know. Some people get frustrated at the beginning, but when I got uh, from State University, I was so excited. I couldn't wait to use the machine. I was like, it was a new world, new language for me, and and uh, it took a little bit to get on it. But after that, you just go and then you feel like, oh my god, I got this. It's like. It's just everything, everything at the beginning is a little slow, but don't, mm -hmm. don't rush it up. Just go by the piece and then you will see later on, everything comes at once, you, you, you understand everything. Mm -hmm.